I'm Craig Moore. I've been at Fermilab for 43 years. In the beginning, we noticed that there was a growth in emittance when we transferred beam from the main ring into the Tevatron. We did many studies. However, we still didn't really have a, a handle on what, was, what the real problem was. A guy named uh, Jim Holt was modeling the effects and he said, oh, there's, there's a problem at B0 for one of the Q3s, which is so, uh, probably a little bit off. There was a problem with the B1 cryo system and so they had to warm it up. And this gave us a chance to go in and look at this Q3 because there were very strict criterion about changing a, ma uh, a magnet while it was cold. And so when we uh, warmed it up, then you're, you're able to, uh, to move it. So the surveyors went down into the tunnel and they set up to look at Q3 and then they said, oh, should we look at Q2? And I said, you know, sure. Well, when they did, they found that the Q2 was off vertically, radially, and rolled by seven milliradians. So we put that magnet back where it was, uh, we buttoned up, and we increased the luminosity in the Tevatron by a factor of two, just from that. And so again, this is just an example. We, we had no idea that it was the Q2, but we had a chance because of the cryo problems to go in and look at it. And we found it and uh, increased the luminosity by a factor of two.